Hey guys, so today we're just gonna dive right in. I'm going to be showing you how to make brand new terracotta pots look old. I love the way that old terracotta pots look because they've just been exposed to all of the elements, rain, soil, tons of water, plants, everything like that. They get a little bit of that algae growing on them. They're distressed and just really, really gorgeous. I just do not have the patience to wait for them to look that way. So I learned a few tricks that I'll be sharing with you today on how to get that old terracotta pot look, but within a matter of minutes. So I've got my workstation here, my brand new pots, my supplies, and we're ready to dive in. Right, the first thing that I'm gonna do is mix my white paint with a little bit of water because this is going to act as the base of my pot to really give it that old distressed look. So a little bit of this is gonna go a long way. I'm just gonna squirt a little bit in the jar. Add just a little bit of water, not too much. And then I'm actually just gonna use a popsicle stick to sort of mix this around. Let's try to stir it up the best you can. If some of it's not wanting to really dissolve, that's all right. So don't worry if you can't get it all to be completely smoothed out in the water. All right, I've got my gloves on. I've got the first pot that I wanna start with. I'm going to grab one of the smaller sponges because this is a smaller pot. I'm going to just dip it and get it nice and soaked in this paint. And then I'm gonna wanna try to sort of do this over my glass because there will be a little bit of runoff um, and I just wanna avoid as much of that as possible. So this part you really don't have to be careful with. We're really just wanting to provide a base of white coating onto the pot. Don't be too careful or worried about this part because honestly, the messier the better. We're really just wanting to sort of get some of that white on and then we'll build and make it look more distressed as we go. So the easiest way to hold the pot is by sticking your hand on the inside and just turning it as you go. That was just a little easier to handle while you are trying to cover it. Again, don't be too careful with this process. We're really just wanting to get sort of that nice, chalky distressing. As you can see, it's starting to build up. The look that you really want is going to be kind of accentuated around the rim of the pot, around the bottom, and then on the inside. So when you're ready to do the inside, because again, some of this might be showing, so you'll wanna at least get a little bit. You don't have to do all of it. You can kind of see right here where I'm getting some of those brush strokes. That doesn't look natural, so a way around that is to sort of blot with your sponge and add a little bit of texture. And then what I will do is come in with a completely dry paintbrush and just swipe it down. Again, not being too careful with this process either because I don't want to have brush strokes on there. I want it to look really natural. So having some something dry like this, or you can use a cloth, but I find that the dry paintbrush really works and gives me that look that I'm going for. So that sort of just took away some of those brush marks. And then I'll come back in again with my sponge and just keep building on what I've already got. And that's sort of the key to this process is really just getting a good base and then building on from there because you can always build, but it's a lot harder to take away with any paint project. So you really don't want any consistency throughout this because you're not gonna find that with an actual terracotta pot. There's no consistency to the way that the white starts to build up on one pot from the other. It just sort of happens and you really want each section to sort of just be random and each side just a little bit different than the next. And the beautiful part about having these terracotta pots that already have some of 
you know, minor flaws and just cracks and little bumps like that is that once you start painting over it, you'll start seeing where some of the white paint starts to collect and that really adds, again, a lot of that character. But later on in this video, I will show you guys how to get that character without having any bumps or cracks already on your pot. And one tip I will add to, if you find that maybe there's just a little bit too much white in one area, go ahead and just take a clean sponge, dip it in some water, and just start to kind of brush it away. Or we can even fix this later by adding some of that terracotta colored watercolor paint that we're gonna be using to add some of this distressing later on. But you can kind of clean a little bit of it off if you've found that maybe it's just a little bit too much in one area. A great base for our white. I'm gonna come in and add my watercolor that I already mixed up. Again, I've got this sort of darker terracotta color, some dark brown, a little bit of white in case I need it, and then these greens here and a darker green, and then just this bright sap moss green to give it that algae look. What I want to do first, since this is watercolor, I want to just get some of my greens wet. So I'm just gonna add a couple drops of water with my paintbrush here to kind of just get that paint nice and liquidy. So I'm going to take a smaller sponge here, get it just a little bit wet, and then just kind of blot it in this green. And then blot it out just like you would with any other sort of watercolor or paint, just so it's not extremely saturated when you go to apply it. But with the algae, I'm going to focus kind of on the rim, on the inside of the pot, and then just faintly at the bottom. Okay, and once you're happy with the amount of green, that you have, you might wanna come back in and just you can add a little bit of white or make sure that the green isn't too concentrated in one area. Or you can even add just a different variation and add just a little bit darker of a color. Again, sort of build on what you've made and just keep spinning and making sure that nothing looks too, I guess, done on purpose. Just everything looks kind of random and nothing looks too uniform. Okay, so we've added our algae. I came in and added just a little bit more of that white distressing and I feel pretty good about this one. I'm going to set this one aside to dry and start on my next one. Okay guys, that was so, so easy. I finished all of the pots. My last step was just spraying that matte clear enamel on them to make sure that the paint stays on. But it was such a fun project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or if you guys try this at home, drop a line below and let me know or feel free to tag me on Instagram so I can see what you guys have made.